Hey, San Antonio Living viewers, Diane Gottsman here, and are you ready for Father's Day? It's just around the corner. So I have some ideas for you. You know, we are still quarantining. I hope if you are going out, you are using your mask, staying six feet apart. I am here at Great Creek Vineyards. I'm with Samantha, and I'm going to show you how to do a wine tasting at home. So Samantha is going to answer some very commonly asked questions that I received. So hi, Samantha, thank hi. you for having me. It's a beautiful, beautiful location. Thank you so much, it's my pleasure. So I have some questions for you. And the first one is, what is it about swirling? What, do we have to swirl when we take a drink? Well, besides the fact that it's really adorable and quite glamorous, there's actually a reason for swirling wine. It actually allows the wine to open up that way you get the full aroma, and when you taste it, you're getting all those beautiful, subtle notes. So it is important to swirl your wine, and it's fun. Okay, and what about a tannin? What is a tannin? So tannins are the, um, so the, they're the astringent properties that are in the stems, the seeds, the um, grape skins of a, um, of a wine, and there's tannins in all plants. So for example, if you have, if you make iced tea like we do here in Texas, um, and you see that kind of film on top, that's the tannic acid. That's what's giving that tea that kind of um, strong flavor. Right. Tannic acids are in all plants. So. Okay, what about a leg? Oh, are there legs? Yes, in yes, what is there are legs. So actually, um, long legs, actually what long legs indicate is that the wine was high in bricks when it was picked. Bricks are how we measure sugar in grapes. So that's really what it indicates, high bricks in the grapes when they were picked. So mm -hmm. if we are doing a wine tasting at home with yes. Dad, we yes. don't have the benefit of all of this beautiful <laughs> wine or the accoutrements. Yes. What do we need? What is this? These are coffee beans. What do yes. we need for this? So coffee beans are great to use to cleanse your palate because water will actually change the pH of your palate. Um, so actually taking a sniff of coffee beans in between tastings can actually help you um, better enjoy the different subtle qualities in each of the wines you're tasting. Does it matter how we hold the wine glass? Red wine versus white wine? Uh, well, not red versus white, but it is important to hold it by the stem because you don't want the temperature of your hand to warm up the wine, whether you're drinking red or white. And in Texas, we have enough heat, so hold it by the stem. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So even red wine you hold by the stem. That's exactly Guys, right. Guys, you don't hold it between your fingers <laughs> like that. I know that much. That's for bourbon. So that's okay. That's for bourbon. All right. That's another show. <laughs> So I know that there are multiple foods that you pair mm -hmm. with your wine. Right. So just a brief overview. Chicken is? Well, with chicken, you could do white wine, and it also depends. You could also do a lovely, um, very crisp, ice-cold rosé if you were having chicken salad, for example. Okay. Um, what about tacos? I know everyone wants to have beer with tacos, yes. but can you have wine with tacos? Absolutely. In fact, I highly recommend it. So Mexican food is already richly flavored. It's very full. So um, you would do a, a contrasting pairing instead of a complementary pairing. So you could pair a very light Rhone Valley blend, um, a wine that is lighter in body, um, and maybe chill it a little bit. So if mm -hmm. we're going to have a wine tasting with Dad, yes. quick tips. What do we need to have? What do we need at our table to do a wine tasting with Dad? Well, um, the first thing you're going to need is some fabulous food. And you know, you could do two or three courses and you could do two or three wines. Um, very simple. The way I, I always like to recommend, if it's a food you like and a wine you like, the chances are they're going to pair together. So while it can be super complex, it can also be very fun and very easy. Okay. What's a sommelier? A sommelier is a man or a woman who has studied in the court of the masters of sommelier to study wine. You know, these are all commonly asked questions. I compiled them all together for you. I took it to the best. We are here at Great Creek Vineyards. I'm wishing you a very happy Father's Day. You know, you don't have to be an expert at this. Just have some fun. If you are adult kids wanting to give your dad an experience, if you are mom wanting to create a beautiful menu paired with wines, there's all kinds of things on the internet that you can find. Um, this video is going to start you off. I'm wishing you a very happy Father's Day. Don't forget, if you go out, masks, hand washing, social distance. See you later.